4M launches the brand new version of FineFire 19, standalone software platform. FineFire belongs to the 4M BIM suite of software for architecture and engineering. It provides a holistic BIM approach for the design of any kind of sprinkler installation, tree, looped, grid etc., through a sophisticated simulation environment, which specifies precisely the fire network installation, in compliance with the latest standards. It is very crucial that enables the automated calculation for all the widely known standards, such as N12845, NFP813, FM Global, C4001, AS2118, BS9251 and others. Through the hydraulic simulation fine fire, calculates automatically all the required results, such as the favorable and unfavorable groups, the four sprinklers under consideration in each case, and all the receptor groups in detail, as well as the fire pump set, the NPSH and the water tank. Moreover, latest version enables collision analysis through clash detection command, as well as high-quality fast rendering function. Despite its high parameterization, Fine Fire remains user-friendly, offering an AutoCAD-like interface and feel, while ensuring at the same time full DWG and IFC compatibilities, in order to enhance the collaboration between different users with respect to other BIM software solutions. Let's watch a quick overview of this software in a simple project. Using Fine Fire 19, we can create the firefighting spaces by using the command AutoNet Create Firefighting Space. These are the spaces inside of which the sprinklers are placed. Type a name for the space, define a minimum density, and select the type of the hazard among the categories Light, Ordinary, and High. The space can be defined either by points or by polyline. After definition, select Accept to see the outline of the space as well as its area and its minimum density. Repeat the same steps for every space. Set the elevation where the sprinklers will be. The next step is to place the receptors through the sprinklers grid command. In this window, select from the library the type of the receptor and automatically the maximum area of coverage will be filled in. Insert the number of rows and columns as you wish the installation in this certain space to be, and press accept. Otherwise, you may place the receptors manually from AutoNet, receptors. Repeat the procedure of current elevation for the existing pipes. Then, you can specify the pipe which conclude to the sprinklers to be vertical. The next step is to draw the network you wish with single lines. FineFire enables the simulations of any kind of network such as trees, loops or grids by executing the command AutoNet pipe. Connect automatically the receptor with the horizontal network by AutoNet, connect receptors to existing pipe. Assign group to the receptors from AutoNet, set group to receptors. Select one or more sprinklers of drawing and type the number of the group on the command line. Select AutoNet, create area of coverage per sprinkler, in order to divide automatically the selected firefighting space and sprinkler coverage areas. The program checks if each sprinkler can cover its area and if it can, the coverage outlines are in green color. If it cannot, the outlines are in red color. The identification of its area is provided in compliance with the regulations. The last step is the definition of the network supply point and the network recognition. Once there are not displayed warning messages, the user can proceed to the calculations. Select AutoNet Calculations, an option which leads you to the corresponding calculation environment. In Calculation Sheet, by selecting Files, Update from Drawing, the project calculations are updated with the drawing data. You can view the calculations in Windows Calculations Sheet. This sheet is the core of the firefighting system calculations. Fill in the network's project data with the general specifications of your project, such as type of pipes, maximum velocity and calculation method. In Windows Fire Pump Calculation, 
you can select the fire pump, calculate the motor power and run an NPSH, net positive suction head, check. With red color it is appear the detailed calculation data of fire pump, based on most favorable and most unfavorable groups. Decide the appropriate type of fire pump from type of selected pump. When you select the fire pump, you can see on the right side of the window the pump's curve. You can see, also the NPSH and motor curve under the pipe curve. To continue, it is possible to search for any pipe sections in the stabilized flow condition, that their velocity exceeds the maximum or they have no flow. In addition, from windows, sections frictions drop, you can view the total frictions in all sections starting from the pump and ending in each terminal node. The bill of materials costing results regarding this specific project is presented in Windows, Bill of Materials tab. In the end, see the technical report which is produced automatically in Windows, Technical Description. Save the project in Calculations program from Files, Save Project, Close it, and Return to Fine Fire Drawing. With AutoNet update from drawing, you select the information you want to be shown on the drawing. In the left and right part of the window, you select the information you want to be shown regarding the pipes and receptors, respectively. You can convert single line pipes to 3D pipes with AutoNet, convert single lines to 3D, Clash Detection Command enables the identification, inspection and reporting of interferences in the project model with beams and columns. At the end, the user can get the perspective view of the project if we select View, Visual Styles, Realistic or the respective icon on the ribbon menu.